I built here what I think is really one of the uh, simplest and easiest switches. I built a small one. This is 22 gauge wire. So this is basically free. Um, basically you just take a piece of wire and you strip off um, all the insulation and you loop it around. And then you have another piece of wire and basically to switch it you just go between the two. Just like that. So when it goes between the two then it's connected. And to disconnect it you lift it and you rotate it away. So I just finished soldering the switch and it works really well. So you just move this over, up, and then between. So now it's running. And then you lift it up and out to turn it off. The lead is connected directly to the battery. This is a double A battery. Um, sorry, two of them. So it's three volts in series. So one's directly connected. The other one is broken by the switch. So it goes from the motor to this part of the switch and then on this um, contact it connects. So all I have to do is move that over and it stays connected until I um, flip it open and it works really well. So this car is very similar to the car I built um, when I was about 12 years old. Um, so every couple of years I build one and I think it's really good for kids um, to be able to build something like this. It's made almost all um, from garbage. So these are the things you need to build um, this really cool garbage car. Um, so first of all, the most important is the motor. So this motor is out of a DVD player. Um, a lot of things have the same motors like this. But what you want is the one with the pulley. So you want, um, this one doesn't have a gear. The one I use has this pulley so you can attach uh, the rubber band. Then you need some wire. So this is 22 gauge, very small wire. Um, a small piece of 1 8 uh, plywood for the switch. Uh, drill butt to drill the, um, the wheels out that are from the pop can uh, lids. And this is the uh, skewer that you use for the axle and all the supports. And here's a straw. And the skewer has to fit inside the straw and have a little bit of room so it can spin. Um, then to put it together, I just used um, some white glue and a little bit of uh, electrical tape. Electrical tape I used to um, put the batteries together and the supports in the front. And then the wheels are made out of just normal pop bottle caps. So you need four of these, one for each wheel, and just drill straight through the center. And that's it. I mean, the material is extremely inexpensive, especially if you can find this for free. Now, the first one I built, um, I used a Walkman. So uh, there were a lot of Walkmans around, and nobody really wanted them because they were going out of style. They were old technology, so it was really easy to find these. But there's so many electronics that has uh, a small electric motor like this. So to build this car, it's very easy. You just think about what size you want, like how wide and how long. And then you just cut your shish kebab sticks. The thick ones are nice, but you can use the thinner ones as well. Cut them the right length for the back axle and the front axle, and also the two arms that support it, and this little piece here. And then you just cut your straws to the right length. For So you need one big piece in the back, two little pieces in the front, and you tape it together. You drill holes. You can do it by hand. Just use a drill bit that's the exact same size as the shish kebab stick. And you can just drill by hand, just make sure it's right in the center of the bottle cap. And I've just wedged them in, you can glue them, but I just wedged them in so they can pop off and just put them back in place. And then the motor, you just glue it in place, find an elastic band. So you want one out of like a DVD player with this, uh, the pulley already attached, a really small pulley. And then you need a bigger pulley um, for the axle. <laughs> And I just drill, drilled a hole through that, and I just glued that to the axle in the center. You make sure you line everything up before you glue it, and uh, that's about it. You glue the pieces together, and then it drives pretty well. Both the battery and the switch, they're held in place by a loop of wire. So you just put two holes, and I loop it, and I pull it tight so the battery doesn't move, the batteries don't move, and the switch doesn't move.